What's up guys, welcome to another video. So as you've seen in the title, um, this is a video on how I got myself to France and also I'll tell you how I got myself to Scotland. Um, so long overdue this video, I've had many questions asking me to do it, how do I do this? So basically, two main important things you need to do. You need to get yourself a rugby CV. I'll explain what that is later. And you need to get LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a professional version of Facebook. Um, yeah, that's basically what it is. So, I add every day, uh, people are adding me, I'm adding people, and in what I want, so I'm adding, I'm adding agents, I'm adding rugby coaches in France, Scotland, Ireland, New Zealand, I'm, I'm adding professional rugby players, top 14, the likes of, uh, I can't think of a name, like Jamie Noon, I've got him, he's an agent as well now, um, Lich Tuolangi, uh, players like that, they all have LinkedIn, you add them, um, Tom Wood, uh, I asked him about advice many years ago when I was a kid, um, it's a very professional network. So I'd recommend getting that because I'll tell you why further in the video. Rugby CV, what is that? So basically it's a CV selling yourself. So you need to put all your details in it, your name, your weight, your height, um, age, uh, where you were born, your rugby accomplishments, um, where you've played in the past, where you currently play. And also the most important thing is highlights. Highlights reel, you need to get footage. It's, you can't go to another club at a high level without footage. And I'm not talking just highlights, I'm talking whole games. So in my, um, in my rugby CV, I have four rugby highlights. So Bedford Blues, Scotland, Marmond, Macon. Uh, and I have six full games. I've got three, three from this year, and I've got four from last year in Marmond. So when I, signed, when I was talking to Macon, they asked for four videos. So I sent them four of my games from Marmond. So, because you can't just look at highlights and go, oh, I'll sign that player. You, rugby footage is so, so, so important. Um, so how did, it, how did it all begin? So basically, there are two Facebook um, kind of agencies, Inside Running and Onside Management. Uh, I use them both. Onside Management I used to get myself to Scotland. Basically, they just put up saying, this team is looking for this position, this team, so Scotland or Ireland, they're looking for a 10, second row, blah, blah, blah. And then I contacted him, I said, yeah, I'd like this. And then he did all the work, he contacted them, and he works free of charge. So you don't have to pay him, you don't have to pay the agent, usually you have to pay the agent, or usually the agent charges the club, and the club pays the agent. That's how it usually works. Um, and so, yeah, they sent me this stuff, I signed, happy days, I've gone to Scotland. Simple as that. Uh, it, it's not hard at all, I just contacted him, he sent my CV, they liked it, deal done, signed. I went to see them before I actually signed, I'd always recommend doing that, going to see the people, going to see the club, and don't just sign everything away because you're excited, it's your first contract. You need to go look at the place and meet the people because they're, they're, not, they're gonna big themselves up always and if you ask the teammates, they're gonna big themselves, big the club up to help because they want you to come or the coaches want you to come and looks, photos can be deceiving. So 100% very important to do that. Secondly, the main thing, how did I get to France? So. It started when I was in Scotland. Um, I had a friend who played in Marmond. Um, he was nine at the time. And I basically what I did, I contacted every single team in Ireland, Wales, um, England, and France. Every team I would get my hands on. All of the teams in Federal 2 and Federal 1 in France. France, sorry. Um, all of the teams in Wales, the Championship League. All the teams in Ireland, Division 1 League. And all the teams in England, Nat 1, Nat 2. This time I was 19 at this time, so I wasn't expecting to get many anything back, maybe one or two teams, I'd hope. Um, and then this club at Marmont, because they knew my mate, he gave me a great recommendation. Um, I was in France at the time visiting my other friend in Bordeaux, and he said, come take a train, come down and see us, and it was only 45 minutes away. So happy days, magically, um, that happened. Um, I saw them, I met the the president, I met the people, the club is absolutely amazing, you've seen many of my videos um, and yeah, so basically the way I got to Marmond was off a recommendation from a friend, um, so a great way into clubs if you have friends or players you've played with they can recommend you but don't contact your friends, oh mate can you get me in, can you get me in, just simple, all, all I said was, oh mate you're right, can I have the email of your president, done. And then after that, I emailed the president. I sent my rugby CV. I went out to see him. I had dinner with him, um, seen the club, and I really loved what I saw. Um, so I signed. 
bef just before that I went to a club in Saint Etienne um, which is where I'm near now in Macon near Lyon um, basically they paid for my flights they flew me out to there um, I previously sent my rugby CV and I did a trial for them just kicking and stuff like that um, and then uh, they paid for me to stay in a hotel they gave me a contract about nine pages long um, I looked at it I was like okay thank you I'll they're like wanky let us know I was like I'll let you know in about a week and then I went to see my mom I preferred my mom in their situation um, from what I knew I asked a friend about Saint Etienne and they had money problems um, okay I'm gonna digress now but one thing as well but when you go to rugby teams you need to find out their past a lot of French rugby teams have money problems um, like for example there are six teams in federal one this year that might be going down to federal three due to money problems for example, Nice they're one of them they're in the top three at the moment they might be going out to fed three they probably won't they might they'll find someone to buy them out I'd, I'd assume or get a loan or something but yeah stuff you've got to be very careful Saint Etienne in halfway through my mond I found out that they went to fed three because they had money problems president left everyone left so thank god I didn't sign there anyway that was how I got to my mond so off a recommendation of a friend how did I get to Macon so again I did this all myself and how I contacted these people was I'd go on websites and I'd search for the coach's email. It's very hard on French websites, they don't always put the email. If I found the coach's email, happy days, I'd email him. If I couldn't, I'd use the secretary's email and I'd email my CV and ask if she could pass it on or he could pass it on. Thirdly, if I didn't have any of those two things, I'd also look on LinkedIn. And if I found that coach on LinkedIn, I'd also contact him through LinkedIn. So that way I know when he's seen the message as well, so I've contacted him directly. So there, those are the three options. You find the email on their website, if not, you find the secretary's email and you send it to them. If not, you go on LinkedIn. But don't do, if you find the secretary's email, don't email the secretary and then email the coach or message the coach on LinkedIn. If you've got the coach's email, it's much better. Email the head coach. If you don't, email the secretary and leave it. So what I did, I emailed once in terms of time periods. I emailed once in January, which is very early. Um, and then I emailed, I didn't get many replies. So I emailed again in March. And anywhere from February to March, early April, is that the, when they sign the players that they want because they know where the club is going to finish. And then anywhere from May, May to June are their late signing. So if someone's injured or they need a quick position to fill in, they'll sign you then. So it's never like my friend uh, who I plays nine for us, he got signed in June. So it's never too late, but you want to know where you're going next year early. Once I talked to them, Macon, I sent them my stuff. Um, I obviously, I flew out. They paid for my flights to come out here to see them. Um, I met the president. The president showed me around the club and Macon. Um, I met one or two players that were here at the time, uh, just whilst I was walking around. Um, they said it was great. Uh, and obviously they, yeah. Um, and through Macon, they signed a whole new team, which I didn't know at the time. So there's lots of young guys in our team, as well as some of the olders. Um, which is really cool because it's kind of it's good to mix with your own age whereas last year there were a lot of people that were older than me but anyway <coughs> I digress not important um, yeah I came out here we talked um, in the car he showed me around the village and then we went to his office for the main meeting he's like okay this is the situation this is what I can offer you um, it was above what I was going to ask for and what I imagined um, so I was like sweet happy days um, stupidly I didn't negotiate but that that doesn't really matter because it was my first contract my first pro contract so I was like yeah get me in I'm very happy with the uh, contract that they've given me so that was that literally I contacted every federal one and two team and amazingly only two teams came back to me and they were one of the top two teams in fed one um, not like high high level but one of them was in federal one elite before uh, which is Tabs and Macon which they finished second Two years ago and they finished fourth last year so a very high team a uh, good team for one um so yeah don't don't be discouraged if you don't get emails back but email as many teams as you possibly can that you know you want to go to also the thing with france for any of you that don't know there's a thing called a gif so if you're young now i'd recommend if you want to play in france when you're older getting to france and playing in an academy what we call an espoir because if you play in there for i think it's three seasons you then become a gif player and a GIF player means you're on a French license, basically. I'm not a GIF player because I didn't play an Espoir in France. So in, in France right now, this season, 
which is 2018, 2019, you can have five foreigners in the team match day squad. Next year, it's four, and the year after that, it's three. So it's going to be very, very difficult if you've never played in France and you're wanting to come over here now because they want to improve their grassroots rugby. Um, so if you're a GIF player, you don't go under that five foreigners. You're not in the foreigner. Happy days. I wish I came here when I was younger because, yeah, as I say, GIF players are French. It's, it's a great thing. You can be from wherever you're from as long as you're in Espoir. It doesn't matter. You are then a foreigner, and France, t French teams will kill for a GIF player. Because in next season, the season after, they're going to be looking for Fijians in the centre, Georgians uh, in the front row. They're going to be looking for all kinds of players like that. So it's going to be very hard to get over to France. So I'm not sure what my future looks like, or if you haven't been to France, what your future looks like. But I've been in France for three years now, so it helps me a tiny bit. But still, yeah, it's very difficult. Before it was much easier because they didn't have that law, but they're bringing it in now. That law is in Federal 1, Federal 2. I'm not sure if it's in Federal 2. It gets very frustrating because sometimes we have seven foreigners. So it doesn't matter how well you play, two foreigners are going to get cut from the team no matter what happens. Uh, so it's quite annoying. So bear that in mind if you want to come to France. Um, to conclude everything, get yourself a rugby CV. Get yourself a LinkedIn profile. Email and contact teams wherever you want to go, Ireland, Scotland, England, cross seas. Contact them either via LinkedIn, secretary. You could also use Facebook, inside running, onside management. Those onside management, I've used a lot there. He's very good. Ryan done it. He's very helpful. Um, and I think I've covered everything. If you have any more questions, please comment below. I'll reply to them there straight away. Um, I can't think of any more I need to add. Also, I have many questions saying, oh, what's your contract? I'm never going to tell anyone what my contract is, what all the details are. I just won't. Um, and everyone says, oh, can you get by in France? This is my job. So I get taxed, rugby player, it says it all that. So I get paid enough to live, like a job. If you had a job, you'd live with your job. So that's the answer. Anyone that keeps asking me that question, yes, in France, you get paid enough usually you get paid well if not they can always help you find a job as well so when you talk to them if you're english um and you're coming over you don't speak any french try and depending on your contract if you get enough happy days if not then you've got to ask for them to help you out maybe a bit of work at the club or something i hope that covers that, that one up i don't want any more questions on that uh yeah so i hope that finally answers all your questions about how to get to france very easy it just got to be patient and you got to work um it took me quite a few weeks to find all these well it took me like quite a few days or a week to find all these emails get them all up get them in a file find everyone's um please don't ask me to like recommend you to this club or another club i'm not here to do that i'm not an agent um you can find yourselves at agents on linkedin there's hundreds just type in rfu for england agents or ffr agent there are absolutely, there are 100, I think, 100 agents or more. There's a file you can download in, off the FFR website that gives their number, address, email, and who they work for. RFU, I'm pretty sure they do the same. I've cleared up how to contact people, agents, how to get abroad. Uh, it's not as difficult, but it's good to be informed at a young age to know what you want to do. And like I said, French Espoir is a very good move if you want to be a GIF player and play in France when you're older. So seriously, think about it. Um, I've talked so much. Um, French players, French teams, they do detection days a lot at the younger ages. So, for example, I'm pretty sure de Ver, if you've heard of them, Pro D2, they're probably going to go up top 14 this year, maybe. Um, they're holding a detection day soon, I think. And people just go there, kids, usually from all over France or anything, they go there, do the testing, and they contact them. And if they want you to stay, likely they'll sign you, you'll be in the Espoir. They'll pay you very little, they don't pay you much, but they give you food, place to live. Um, like for example Federal 1 we've got School of Rugby here Espoir they live here um, they've all got dorms they live at the stadium uh, they get free food um, and I think some of them get paid a little you, you don't get paid much being an Espoir it's normal um, because you get all the food in the house so yeah done any comments questions chuck it down below don't forget to subscribe like share the channel let me know any other videos you want to see as well, and I'll see you on the next one.
not to rap, but I got it. Motherfuckers thought they had it unlocked, but there ain't no key, I lost it. And it ain't low key, I'm wildin' up in this nonsense. My new school project, see how big it can get without shit getting pop. Cause it just cops, I'm going to college, fuck it, I'm hoppin', make my 